Hi guys and welcome to another Beaver Builder video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well today we're going to use the ultimate add-ons for Beaver Builder plugin to build this gallery we've got here with a nice little zoom effect. It's full width. Really easy to build with the uh, ultimate add-ons plugin. So let's get started. I'm going to enable the Beaver Builder at the top here. Once it's enabled, I'm going to actually delete the module that I've got here. And we'll start again. I've just got a full width row up at the top there. In fact, I'll delete that and show you how to put a full width row in. I'm using the actual beaver theme here, so it allows us to put full width rows in. So let's go in. I'm going to go to rows. I'm going to use a row with one column. And there it is. Now I just need to go into the settings. To the style. And width. Full width. Content width. Full width. And as you can see it's spread out. Across the screen there. Fantastic. So we'll save that. Let's add our module now. So let's go and hit the little plus button again. And I want to hit add a module this time. Now here's all the standard ones that come with the Beaver Builder, which is great. But we're going to be using the ultimate add-ons for Beaver Builder right here, UABB modules. And I'm going to go down. And here it is, Photo Gallery. Just going to left click and drag it where I want it, which is right there. Once it's over, I'm going to go to the General tab, and you can select a grid layout, which is just, if your pictures are all the same dimensions, then I'd probably choose that, or a masonry layout. So I'm going to use masonry, which will put them in as, as best as it can with fitting them to the, the screen size that you've got here. Now I'm going to add photos. I've only got a few on this site, so I'm going to select them all apart from the logo. I'm going to select the first one, hold my shift key down and select the last one. It'll select them all in between. Simply hit add to gallery. There they are. You can add a caption if you want to. I'm not going to do that with my pictures today. We'll do that in another video and do a different style. You can move them around however you want. Just simply left click and drag them to where you want them. And let's go ahead and update the gallery and it should put them in there automatically for us. Fantastic, that is not actually too bad. This one's obviously a bit long for the bottom there, but it really doesn't matter too much. I'd kind of like them to have no gaps in between and no gaps at the edges. So let's have a look. You can make the medium thumbnail size or full I don't think mine are very big I think they're full anyway yeah it really didn't make a lot of difference I'll leave it on that now this photo spacing is 20 picks 20 picks 20 picks I'm going to put that to zero so they're actually sort of touching each other now you've got the option of a display order here Let's put it on random and see what happens. Yeah, it's a little, little gappy. I think what we'll do, we'll put it on normal. And let's edit our gallery a bit and move this one somewhere else. See if that helps the sort of style of it. So let's. edit the gallery that's our problem child right there so let's pop him up here somewhere perhaps move this one over I'm guessing right here obviously you want to spend a bit more time on yours get them exactly where you want them There we go, that's a bit better. Of course we can put a dark background or a background or a background image in if we want to. OK, 
Okay, if we keep going down, you can select the amount of columns that you want. I've got four at the moment. I'm going to stick with four columns, the default. You can change it for, de for um, medium, which would be a tablet, and small devices, which would be cell phones and such. Photo settings. Show captions on hover. Well, I haven't got any captions, so we don't need to do that. Light box, click action. That means they'll pop out and show you a larger image of them. That's absolutely fine for me. The other options are a photo link or a custom link, so you can get your people to go anywhere you want when they click on it. Now, you can do a filterable portfolio gallery, but we haven't got any categories so we can't filter them into different categories at the moment we'll do that in another video let's go over to our style at the moment the image of a hover effect is zoom in which is I like that I'm gonna leave it at that you can have an overlay from the left the right top bottom zoom in is what we got now or zoom out I'm gonna leave mine on zoom in I'm gonna get rid of the overlay color or I'm gonna just make it opaque so I don't want a color overlay when people click on it because you won't be able to see the zoom effect and we've got no overlay icon okay let's move on to our typography really don't need anything here because we've not got captions docs there's some help docs here which will tell you how to do various different things if you want to look at that that's great now I'm going to go on to the advanced tab three little dots up there and click on advanced I'm going to remove the padding from all sides or the margin from all sides so it stretches from one side of the screen to the other top and bottom with no gaps that's great Let's save that okay I think we're about done let's save the changes hit the done button save draft I'm still seeing a bit of padding or margin there. But here's the zoom effect. That looks pretty cool. Let's just adjust the padding around here. So let's enable the builder again. And we'll go into the actual row itself up here. And let's have a look at the padding on here. Yeah, it's got 20. So we just need to remove that to make it flush with the top, bottom, left and right. There we go. That's going to do it. Save it. And we're done. Save the draft. And there you've got a nice little masonry photo gallery with a hover effect. Like I say, you can add or remove more images. You can put a background behind it if you want to. But that's really easy to do. And if you want to take the ultimate add-ons for Beaver Builder for a test drive, you can do so from my affiliate link below this video. So I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.